Sorry I stepped out here. I'm just making a video because there are a few things I'd like to address. Um, starting with the fact that I will be getting out of the military. And I'll be actually out after February 5th. Um, and been dealing with a recruiter that is really trying to get me to reach my 20. And the issues I have has been height and weight and PT issues. And a lot, some of this actually has stemmed from my testosterone issue. But I can't make it, a tw make it to 20 because I wake up every morning. About every morning, if I don't, with a little, in a little bit of pain, I don't know if it, I probably need a new bed. Either I need a new bed, or just I've abused my body so for so long it gets a little painful. But I have not been able to get my height, my well, my weight down. Um, I did have past at least one ACFT since this issue um but yes I only needed two more years to get my 20 but I'm just not gonna be able to do it with the shape I'm in now and the fact that I got a two year old running around but he's been really adamant about getting me 20 he's but if you are at 18 years and you have someone that's all for you to, to get your 20 like I do if you I would recommend you do it especially if you're gonna get that little bit of a pension I mean in right now it's not it's a little bit of an argument with my wife about getting the 20 but I've run into a few things that I've did some research on had to do research on to see how much money I'm going to spend on the equipment that went missing. Um, I've come to find out that the Army does overcharge, will overcharge you on things um, for a fact of uh, they've got this one single person tent. Some, I've, someone said it was a thousand dollar tent. I found it for around five hundred to seven hundred dollars, actually on the company's website that makes them. But they usually like seem to double the price of things when they're talking to you about them. Like I had to replace a few things of mine that I couldn't find. And those of you that have turned in the equipment and got a, a hand receipt for them, for it, make sure you lock those up somewhere because I had a hand receipt for something. It disappeared and it was still on my record as of today and it's been years since I turned it, a couple years since I turned it in so I had to replace that but some I had to replace a couple things I from what I was reviewing I could have been spending maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars to replace those few items but I was, I was able to replace all of them for roughly under a hundred dollars so that's something you need to watch out for. Um, because it could be a problem for you to get to our process, especially if you got a, a retention NCO trying to keep you going. Um, Someone's moving around. But I know that that's always going to be an issue. And it's not, and I'm not leaving because of the whole COVID mandate stuff. That has never been an issue for me, even though. I, I've gotten the first, I've gotten the vaccine. I'll admit that. 
and I really don't want to call it a vaccine. I just it's some it's something else. It's just I mean, yeah, vaccines help help you keep from getting sick, but this is not really like your. Well, some of the other ones, but it at least I should put it this way. I guess I got the vaccine, but did I think I really needed it? No. Um, especially after that incident where we had COVID going through the house, and I ended up not getting it. Period. Now I was tested, and not did not have it. There are people out there. That are like that, so forcing people to get the vaccine is just kind of stupid, in my opinion. I mean, I mean, the people that work directly would end up directly working with the people who catch COVID. I can slightly understand, but forcing everyone to get it outside of that was not the right move the government made in my opinion so you can't consider that misinformation if it's my opinion cuz i'm not i'm stating it's my opinion however things are going okay here I just been sure handed on well things to do with inflation and a hectic schedule lately. I I will try to make videos whenever I can and probably uh Address how it goes uh, turning in my gear since I still got it all back there. But it should go fine. I mean, there's some things I have that are not on my record that I will get to keep. And there's things that are on my record that I do get to keep. And that's something you should also watch people's uh, shoulders that should watch out for. Um, if it says if it's in your ETS trans and it has a Y, meaning it transfers with you when you get out, like your uni like certain uniforms, which I'm trying to figure out why uh, frac use, which is a flame retardant ACUs, have to be turned back in. It's a little weird on my, uh, it seems a little weird, even though I already didn't wear them, so that's fine. But HUs are no longer authorized. Um, everything I have pretty much will, was issued to me back in 2005, which is really f interesting. Since a lot of it's getting about, about at its wear out date, I'm assuming. But I'll keep you informed on that. And I will see you next time.